there we are again, Friday. Um, did a little video today. I had about a week off making videos. Um, had the Friday Monday off last week. And uh, yeah, just had a steady and steady and so I'll show you what I'm on with today. I'm just getting a tub out. Right, we're back on this joist lift today. So uh it's the one I squared up on there last week. So yeah. Solo today, got a new labour starting Monday, so last time I'll be abusing them for a while, hopefully. Alright, see you next clip. So it's ten o'clock and uh full lifts basically loaded now. It's only a small plot. So I've got three profiles set up, six foot level, alley, another aluminium, then we we'll run it halfway down, back back, pull this up, and then repeat the other side. I want to just get this game up today, this back, back and forth.
he'll probably not be able to hear me because it's, I don't know what, skunk thought, wind every day. So, uh, yeah, check it out. So, I got that up to uh, joist on brickwork side. Now I've set up, um, you know, three, three profiles set up effectively, but profile here, my marine to there. When I get to that profile and rack back, uh, you know, so I'll only rack back five bricks. That basically knocks out two sides of this plot. Uh, I've just got the fiddly uh, in and out stuff uh, next week because it's only one bus I've got these lintels. 2325 is the height, thank God. They're nice and easy. So, yeah, I'm just going to do a bit of. Yeah, so it's half one. I'm doing pretty well today. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I couldn't have done this last week, but just obviously one feeling it. So, um, yeah, check it out, it's where far we are. So, um, that's what you saw at time lapse over there. Um, got this round to here. I wasn't going to run this bigger flanking, but because Gobbo's, it must have some sort of, it's a, I forgot what it is, weight or something, what? Weight gear. So it's, it lasts, it's like sticky and it lasts forever. The water rises to the top, so it seems to get wetter as it goes. So I'm going to go call it Forky now. I've got half a tub. I'm going to drag that onto the scaffold and get some more bricks. And uh, yeah, I only need a part pack to finish. I've got like just that front bit really. Um, yeah, I'm going to get this up. Hopefully by like three o'clock. It's windy as fuck as well, which knocks it out of me. I think all this gobble will get me this five course, six course to finish this this plank. So yeah, right. See you in a bit.
Hey guys, Harry here. Uh, back with another Brit Lane vlog, finally. So this is voiceover part of the video. Uh, I tried not to make this one too long, uh, but it was a big day, so uh, I got a lot of footage. It was a solo day, so uh, back on this plot again. Um, just squaring up, squaring up uh, for the joist. So I caught a joist lift. Uh, I was solo today. I got a new labourer starting on Monday to help me and Mel out. Because uh, Mel only does about two days, three days max. So um, I was just getting fed up of trying to do everything myself on a lot of days. And I don't expect Mel to be labouring since she's now sort of full time on the trowel. And pointing up and stuff just... Low strenuous activities, um, like you know, walling and walling and pointing up don't require any lifting because you know, loading out proper kills her back in, and because she's got scoliosis, it's just impractical having her as a you know, laboring on me. You know, it's, it's too much, so I need someone full time with the amount of work we seem to be getting through. Um, because <clears throat> you know, when Mel's working with me, we're doing like a minimum. Uh, like six, seven hundred bricks if Mel's on the line with me, and I'm going slow <laughs> teaching her. Um, so you know we need someone looking after us full time. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so um, on on this uh, back of this house, the perps were ginormous. Uh, this was the house which I found the half in, obviously, uh, since I've been on this Gleason site. Um, it's just not, it's just a nightmare when they don't set the bond out right. You could have probably got another half brick in this back, uh, easily. You know, maybe even, <laughs> you know, maybe even more, <laughs> but at least a half. Uh, because every perp was about, you know, 20 mil, 15, 20 mil. So, you know, over like, you know, 30 bricks, 10 mil times 30, that's 300, you know, you get in. Could have got an extra brick, you know, so, easily. So an extra brick in this back and then... That's where the half was found. So obviously, if this had been, you know, bonded out right, this uh, this plot, there wouldn't be any three quarters in it. Everything would have worked brick easily. Uh, so yeah, that was, uh, you know, because there's three quarters in the front anyway. Even after me finding, even before me finding the half. So uh, it just, you know, it is what it is. It just makes the just makes the build a bit more awkward. You know using more gobble as well it slows everything down a little bit so you, you got to be prepared to come against stuff like this um going back to using profiles as well it's something that i you know i go through phases i've even told everyone on the channel before some days sometimes i want to build corners some days i want to use profiles but um these bricks are so pretty much straight and you know easy to lay that profiles are you know they're good to use to be fair and i've got i'm i'm taking a bit of a different approach this time i'm just using two maybe three max but i always just use a six foot level as like a um like an intermediate to run to and i do a bit of a mixture of corner building but stop relying completely on profiles like i i tended to do when um when dean worked with us before i was just sort of using profiles for everything and obviously with having on this site the frames not being in check 
um, you know, that allows you to just butt your, butt your brick straight up to the frame, making sure your frames are plumb, and normally, you know, you set your window out first, you know, build a few cores, and make sure that's all nice and plumb, and normally your frame nicely slides in, and it'll be all plumb all the way up, so, sometimes the frames are made a little bit wonky, so, you know, you sometimes have to, um, if you can see in the right-hand corner, use a little bit of cardboard to fill in the gap if the frames come a bit small, you've set the window 5 mil big. Um, I always set the windows a couple of mil because the frames can come big and sometimes when they do come to size there's a little bit of a gap at one side. So I'll just, uh, you know, which will be closed up when they put the when they put the window in, you know, it'll be, it'll be all tightened up and that's where the mastic can go and stuff. But, um, you know, I always make your windows a little bit bigger, it gives you a little bit of wiggle room, um, you know, for them to get the window in. And if the frame's a little bit wonky or, you know, you sometimes your uh, reveals can drift a little bit, you can always get that window in, um, regardless. Uh, but yeah, I go back to perping the brick, sort of traditional style. Still don't put any grooves in the spread like, but uh, the gobbo is, is, was pretty much holding up, you know. Uh, it's it's weight, what's gobbo or weights? I can't, it's a Yorkshire company, so... It, the gobber lasts it's sticky as hell but it lasts really well you know if you get it out at a good consistency um i sort of get it you know more accustomed to a traditional when i'm solo uh if i'm you know if i've got labor with me i'll maybe stiffen it up a bit but with the wind and the bricks being so, so dry you know you've got to sort of get it a little bit wetter than you need so normally it's you know it's, it's good for a long spread um, but you can, you know, can spread it out a bit further and then start pick and dipping it with a long spread. Uh, I've not really been doing much one at a time with this, uh, with these sort of bricks, you know, the, the holes in them, you know, make it, you know, a bit more challenging. It's, you know, the frog bricks are better doing one at a time. Um, but yeah, I've, I've enjoyed purping the brick up today, you know, a little bit different. I either put it on the front or the back, mainly the back now. Um, I used to put it on the front for the, how I learned to brick lay, putting the perp on the front of the brick. Uh, but then you have the problem it falls off you haven't got anything to contact and press it to it goes a bit dry and then you hit the next brick and i find it feels better when you put the back of the brick up uh so yeah i had the music on so you saw a bit of the beginning footage where there was no music on but i decided to put my radio on because it was quite windy you could have heard me but if i spoke but you know the microphone on the akaso that i use isn't the greatest and I'm going to get a GoPro at some point, like a Hero 8 or something like that. They're about 280 quid, so they're not too expensive. I, I pay like 60 or 70 quid for this Acaso. So, you know, it's, it's an extra 200 quid more than, obviously, I pay for this camera. But it'll be worth it, you know, obviously. Um, I, get, yeah, I get a little bit of AdSense every month, but it's not really enough yet to warrant actually getting a £300 camera tech to work but i'll get one at some point um some point in 2022 at least uh so yeah i also you know, you know I've, I've said this multiple times in videos just pre-cut your pre-cut your three quarters pre-cut your halves obviously these are a bit easier because you just can snap them uh, but with three quarters i basically knock you know if i'm say cutting a 160 or a 170 i'll knock a majority of the meat off with the brick hammer so normally one hit get takes off that you know, that first 40 mil or 30 mil or whatever, and then I just clean it up with the trowel. So you switch in between trowel and brick hammer to cut these three quarters on the perforateds. And, um, you know, if you really want to be accurate, you can, or really want to be, you know, refrain from wastage, you'd use a, use a disc cutter. But um, obviously I'm just using it and doing it old school style. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, the perps are back to nice and nice tight 10 mil perps. Uh, and I couldn't pick and dip nicely. That's why I wasn't picking and dipping on that big run. Uh, I was I was tending to joint up about every five course, four or five course of bricks. It goes a bit dry. So uh, with bricks th like this, um, just try not to stroke your iron across the joint when it's dry. Try to just basically rake your trowel, the front of your um, pointing, pointed iron or your barrel straight through the joint and just... It compacts that dry bed and makes it nice. It gives it a nice finish because if you start stroking it multiple times when it's dry, it'll all drop out, and then your finish gets crap. So you know if you let it go a little bit dry sometimes, if you you know getting a lot in or you don't end up, you forget to join something, just pressing in one straight motion, um, 
as if you're like almost raking the joint out, but you're not. You're just pressing in that mortar instead of, you know, when it's wet, you can stroke it a little bit more and, you know, it'll make a nice finish. But when I was, when I'm solo, the pointing's always an issue. That's why I tend to not run in flanks like this, but it wasn't too bad today. The mortar was holding up pretty well. I find the the uh, red the red bricks on here hold up a lot better. Um, the dark is dry, but in my uh, my initial fears were confirmed today. The uh, the Marshall concrete bricks arrived. If anyone's laid the Marshalls, uh, you know the concrete bricks with little holes in. Um, they've arrived. They've got a yellow and a red variant. So, yep, yeah, that's what's going to be happening. It's going to be concrete bricks on here. Uh, you know, it's a shame because. Such a good site, but it'll just it'll go it'll go downhill as soon as the concretes around you know, as soon as the houses with concretes get released. Um but luckily we're in summer, so I can still make money uh, on concretes in summer. You know, it's um it's just not as nice to lay as as uh, they're just heavier and just more awkward than clay bricks, but they have the they have the pros and the cons, you know, the pointing's a good a big thing with the uh with the concrete bricks, you know, I've, I always slag them off, but it's nice to be able to leave all your, you know, your point until the end. You know, you can leave like 20, you can leave 20 course on a gable and point it and, you know, get it all up and then point at the end. It's going to be good for, you know, when we've, we're all on the trowel, get the labour on the trowel, and uh, Mel will be on trowel full time, obviously, so we'll be able to smash through some work. Uh, you just need to use more profiles you know there's less freehand freehand is good obviously i've I've done freehand with the concretes but you'll see you'll see in the next coming uh you know next coming video so i've probably got another day on this um joyce lift just finishing off uh obviously the remainder of the uh the block the course of block around it and then around the front and stuff with the soldiers but um i'll probably make a video uh when i'm on the next drop now so I'll be probably starting a new plot, I would have thought. I don't think I'll be touching anyone else's now. Um, uh, considering most of this week, uh, I was messing around with, fiddling around with someone else's plot. I dropped on it, you know, there's a few issues, and I didn't really get much done, top and bottom. We had a few early days, we weren't feeling it, um, mainly because we are on someone else's work. Uh, but we just got a gable up, and we had a bit of money, and then we are back on this, so... Hopefully I'll be back earning something worth turning up for next week and do a full week because I did four, we did like three and a half days this week. Um, so, yeah, it's been like my third three and a half day a week <laughs> in a row. But yeah, I'll get back into the swing of everything and then, you know, you guys will get more regular videos hopefully when I'm, and I've got someone to help me. Someone, like full time, someone carrying, you know. So, anyway guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys, um, I'll put a bit of music on, I'll see you guys in the next vlog in a, in a few days. Thank you very much, uh, goodbye. I'm on my own, broken along, I feel the rain crashing down, all around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found, but you don't care. You're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air Like a blazing flare Don't stare cause the flames will burn us I thought you were the one for me That's why I gave you everything Held you close by the stormy seas Oh, you meant the world to me I kiss your head when you cried for me
hopes you chase away my fears I'm on my own, you made it so And now I'm chasing nightmares through I used to run with you through the great big leaves Laughing at you when you laugh at me Hope for us because I believe The home was just you and me Points in blaming you, you did not know oh. I thought you were the one for me That's why I give you everything Out you cross by the stormy seas Oh, you meant the world to me
So just just to show that I fit bricked that all the way up, as you can see, it's gone up. That bit was a, this morning. Fit bricked it all the way up, and uh, still runs perfectly true. You know the fit brick will not, you know, it'll not pull your line out of, uh, you know, what people think. They'll think if you've got a corner, you know, you've got to use your corner, but the fit brick will keep it true. Um, it's really handy, you know. I even second guess it sometimes myself, but prove me wrong, prove me wrong time and time again that it's uh, a fucking bang on bit of kit. So yeah, I think we're at. Uh, it's gone five past three, so we're gonna we we'll bring me bring my car down. Um, got all this up as you've seen. Uh, I think there's about fuck knows 800 brick, no, 700 brick maybe there. Um, What's that? 45, 5, 5, uh, that's 6, maybe 6, 650 maybe there. Uh, that's a pretty good day, I've not done that for a while. Um, so yeah, going pretty, just with profiles, that's just profiles for you, they are quicker. Um, they're quicker, but you need the right setup and you need to make sure you have good work. Because mine, because I put my profiles on mine, I had to stabilise them, they're all running nice and true to the corners that I built. Obviously if you're fucking putting profiles on a lot of shit, it's going to take you ages to set them up, but mine were pretty quick. So yeah, I've got about three or four buckets of gobble, I think I'm going to put a profile in that corner. I've lost my drill bit from my drill, it fell out when I was trying to drill a tie in. Um, I'm going to put a profile up on that far corner show you. So it's four o'clock. I've had enough. I, uh, I had a look in the tub and I only had two buckets in. I thought I'm not getting anything out for that. Um, so that's what I've got done. So I loaded all the blocks on the inside. Um, lay them, and then lay them over and with the line on this side for one course. Obviously plumbed on the opposite side. I don't know. Or I can always jump in and do that. Uh, but I don't like bending, so I might just overhand it. You know, stand on the crate if I must. Uh, but if this this side, if this Harris is flush, that should be pretty close. Considering there's only joists going on it, it's only uh, nice, nice height. To be fair, um, got it set up as well here. Uh, da, 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 da. Internal T clamp by Nielsen on eBay. Pretty cheap. Uh, as you can see, I've got a couple of mil gap there for the line. Obviously that's as tight as I could get up to that corner. Um, well, as tight as I think I could get up to it. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the corner. That's pretty much. That's pretty much it. I know it's only for that little run there, uh, where it takes away a little bit of plumbing. Uh, obviously, got me cable profile. Just strapped on the cockle, stabilising that, gauge level plumb, got one up there as well, so tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow Monday, run this in, um, and that up to there, got a little stop end level, and the reason I ain't got any lintels up is because I didn't have a schedule, and the gaffer, I think main gaffer want here, to print one out, but I'm not sure I'll even need one, I can just get the same type of lintel if it, if it all does work like that. Uh, so yeah, so once this is up, I'll obviously take that profile off, put it on that corner, a little level again, build that up to high, same again, and then repeat that side, identical set from that side to that side. Um, only difference is, um, I'll have my six foot level on that side, as opposed to the profile, because I've only got two, I only bring two, there's not, not much need to bring any more. Uh, leave a little tip as well. Leave a little brick. Leave a little uh, brick out. Put half, and then leave a leave a brick scooper in out to clean that. It's only one meter box on here. Um, open cavities, obviously. Uh, no raid on barrier. So uh, when we come to cleaners, you know, when you come to clean, say your air bricks, which are down here uh, somewhere. I've got one. There is one here. Actually. Yeah, it's one down there. I've left a brick out, just hammer in, put your hand in with your hammer, smash it, chuck the crap into the drop zone. 
Um, easy way to clean your trays without leaving holes out for fucking gutters. Uh, also, before I go, I want to show you this little innovative tip I found. Um, fucking see these bits of wood which the uh, bricks come on. If you've got a gap, when I put my frame in, the frame was uh, you know a couple of mil out. And obviously, sometimes there's a gap, sometimes it comes a bit small, or whatever. And to maintain your plumb, shove that in. Shove that in all the way up. Maintains a nice plumb, you can just wall to it. So, yeah. That's it. I need to touch all these corners up. They're a nightmare when it goes dry, so I just send Mel round or, uh, or a labourer to, uh, you know, to clean all these corners up. You know, that's Mel's job. Uh, I'll do them before I leave anyway, so I'll leave all these cleaning for them as well. Uh, so yeah, that's the video, I hope you enjoyed. So yeah, it shows you can make a good impact on a, on a joist lift, you know, about 650 I reckon, 650 bricks there. Um, and there's only, only f one, two, three, four windows. One, two, three, four, five windows have soldiers. The other three openings don't. So that's good. It's just straight brickwork over the top. So yeah, right. Thanks.